Hi, welcome back. And yes, you've read the title right. And in today's video, I'm going to challenge myself to create two videos basically of the same content, but one is shot with a smartphone and the other one is shot with a mirrorless camera. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, you can support me by subscribing as well as you can hit the notification bell icon for you to get notified whenever we have new videos up here on our channel. So without further ado, let's start by introducing the gears that I'll be using here in this challenge. Please help me welcome in the red corner that is the Huawei P20 Pro. So Huawei P20 Pro has three cameras uh, arranged across its back. The main camera has an ultra high resolution of 40 megapixel sensor backed up by a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor. The third camera has a three times zoom lens and an 8 megapixel sensor. The P20 Pro can shoot 4K videos at 30 FPS or frames per second. It also features Gyro EIS or the electronic image stabilization only when shot at 1080p at 30 FPS. For more flexibility in shooting, I will use a third-party application that is the Filmic Pro which is not sponsored instead of a native camera application. So too much for the P20 Pro and now let's go ahead and check what's in the blue corner. Let's welcome Sony A6000. Sony A6000 is an entry-level mirrorless camera in the Sony A series. This can shoot videos up to 60 FPS in 1080p. This is no IBIS or the in-body image stabilization, unlike its more advanced brothers, the A6500 and the A6600. And for today's video, I'm going to use the Sigma 16mm f1.4 prime lens. So just so you know, all the other things here are in DIY and I don't even have a decent tripod or a lighting setup in that case. So now you know what gears I'll be using or the lack thereof, let's go ahead and let the challenge begin. Let's go!
So that's it, everyone. So I just finished filming and um, I had no idea what storyline to follow. That's why I just shot and shot clips and I don't know how this will turn out later on. But before I show you the final output, um, let's talk about my takeaways for this challenge. First to go is my thoughts for the Huawei P20 Pro. I have been using this handset since 2017 and I even produced my first YouTube videos here in my channel with it. So I shot, edited them in uh, Huawei P20 Pro. I always prefer not to use the native camera app. Instead, I uh, recommend to those who are interested in mobile filmmaking to check out the Filmic Pro. It is a third um, party camera application or what. So with Filmic Pro, you can do a lot more, I think. You, uh, you're more flexible with your shots and um, I think it um, maximizes the potential of your smartphone in terms of videography. Maybe we can talk about that in a different video, but for the sake of this challenge, let's leave it as is for now. In terms of handleability, it is a check for me. I did not use any gimbal or tripod in this video. Huawei P20 Pro is also a lot lighter compared to the A6000 setup paired with um, the Sigma 16mm f1.4, which makes the P20 Pro easier to maneuver, especially when taking in-camera transition attempts. So quality-wise, Huawei P20 Pro delivers. I took videos at 1080p at 30fps to enable the EIS. Also, our clips are shot in low-light conditions, so noise levels are kind of obvious with the P20 Pro clips. But personally, that can be tolerated, especially if you're just going to upload it in social media platforms just like Facebook and all which will compress your video and view your videos in a small screen monitors. Well, another thing that adds to the value is the EIS or the electronic image stabilization as I've mentioned earlier many times. And it's really a thing for me because I have these shaky hands. Well, my friends know that, but um, well, yeah, it really helps eliminating those unnecessary jitters. So this feature is only available when I set my videos at 1080p 30fps. It would have been better to have it enabled at most 60 fps but nevertheless um it's a great feature to have and now for the sony a6000 so the setup is compact and sturdy because of the uh, sigma 16 mm i think that lens is kind of hefty but i had no major issue with it since i'm kind of used to it already though i had a problem when i attempted to uh, take a video of myself holding the setup in my left hand and then uh, played with the light with my other hand well after maybe two or three takes i had my hand strained and you know which results to a very messy video or you know a junk clip I don't know, it's very shaky. I don't know if I can use it later. So which brings up to my next concern that my setup has no stabilization feature. That's a problem because, you know, I have sh shaky hands. So the A6000 itself has no in-body stabilization paired with a lens that has no optical steady shot or OSS. Well, um, fortunately, we have an option to use those Sony lenses that has an OSS or optical steady shot just like this. Um, what I have here, a 35mm f1.8 uh, Sony lens. And maybe that will help us to get more decent clips to use. Quality wise, I can say, well, what, what can we say? This is a mirrorless camera and it really performed really great in low light well considering that we used a very large aperture lens it's 1.4 which really helps and you know um the noise the noise level is just it's acceptable you know it's yeah i don't know what to say but it's really great well just like the huawei p20 pro i took the videos at 1080p resolution so, so I think that would be all of my takeaways for this challenge, how it went, my struggles during the take, and all of those things. But I think at this moment, we're all ready to, you know, watch the final output. <sighs> I am too. So this is a very short video, maybe a minute or less than 30 second clip. I don't know, but you know, enough of the talk. Let's just watch it. Ready, go.
Okay, guys, so I think we just finished watching the output. And if you aren't sure of it, well, basically me too. You know, well, given the limitations that I have here, um, I have no proper gears, I have no proper lighting, no tripod, even tripod. I had no help from other people, well, except from that one clip. And then um, it's really a challenge <laughs> for me personally. Well, I'm pretty proud of myself because I stood up with the challenge and I finished it. So what can I say? So maybe, um, well, I'm just a beginner and to all beginners out there, let's not stop learning. Let's keep on shooting even if no one's watching us. <laughs> I even bet that no one's watching this video too. But you know, let's continue to burn that fire inside of us to, you know, be better each day. And also, let's take note that at the end of the day, it's not all about the gears. Well, the gears really help. Well, as a hobbyist and beginner, I really still have a lot of things to learn and, you know, I really wanted gears and all, but really it boils down to your skills. Let's put some time on that to, um, to you know, to enhance our skills and who knows, one day we'll produce contents that will get us somewhere, you know, get my point? So. I guess that uh, wraps up our um, smartphone versus a mirrorless camera challenge. And again, this is your Lost Bisaya boy, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Well, consider liking and subscribing. We'll see you again next time in the Quarantine series. Signing off. Ciao.